The EFF Economic Freedom Fighters launched their party last year in June and seem to have gained significant support since. Um, they launched their manifesto just last week to a crowd of 50,000 people on the East Rand. What role do you think the EFF will play in the upcoming election, particularly should they gain a significant number of seats in Parliament? We have a proportional system for election of Parliament. I would like to see that change somewhat to bring a geographical element into it as well, but retaining an element of proportionality. But at the moment, everything is proportional. If a party gets 50,000 votes countrywide, it has one member in Parliament. So the EFF will be in Parliament. Whether they will gain 5% of the vote, 3% or 7%, at the moment the polls suggest between 5 and 7%, which will give them uh, about, I, 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 I'm not sure about my numbers, but let's say about 10 members in Parliament. So they will be there. So our system allows parties from the far left, radical parties, parties from the far right, to get a foothold in Parliament. But of course, if amongst hundreds of members of Parliament, you only have four members of Parliament, you don't get all that much speaking time. And you don't have all that much influence in the debates. You can't, you can't attend all the committee meetings of the 34 portfolios which there are. So the small parties are limited in the effect and the influence they have in Parliament. I think the EFF is going to, to gain, as I said, somewhere between 5 and 7 percent. I don't think they pose a risk of winning the election whatsoever. Their wild promises are absolute nonsense. There's an element of racism in the whole approach of the, of the EFF. Uh, it's racist policies that they, that they uh, pronounce and that that they advocate. So it's a dangerous group, which I would like to remain as small as possible. The indirect effect which the EFF might have is together with other factors is that the ANC, which at the moment has 65% of the vote, might come down rather dramatically even to below 60%. Personally, I think that would be good for the country. It will normalize our democracy somewhat. It will bring us nearer to a situation where nobody is certain that one party will have an overwhelming victory at the next election. We need realignment in our political party political system. We need to move away from the old historical basis of and, these, and, and foundations of parties towards value-based politics and policy-driven politics instead of racially-based politics and ethnically-driven politics.